If you are lonely, if you constantly are surrounded with other people and constantly think that I'm misunderstood, I feel out of place, I don't relate to these people, I want to first tell you, I completely understand you. I have been there for years upon years. I was so scared of my own self, of dealing with my own thoughts, of dealing with my own problems, that for years upon years, I spent time hanging out with people. And yes, on the surface level, it showed I had many friends. It showed that I was a social person. It showed that I wasn't alone. Yet, the more time I spent with the wrong people, the more time I spent running away from my problems, the more time I spent not trying to understand who I was, the feeling of loneliness only got more exacerbated. It only felt worse and worse and worse. And in today's video, if you are feeling lonely, I want to give you the simple but ultimate solution to solve your problem. It's not going to be the answer you think it is. It's not going to be an easy answer, yet it is the best answer by necessity. And that is, you need to learn how to be alone. Now you might be saying, Mehdi, what are you talking about, man? That's the answer? To solve my loneliness, I need to be alone? You don't know what you're talking about. But hold on, I want to just give you a different perspective. You see, to first really solve this problem, we need to understand that being alone and lonely are two separate things. They are not the same, even though a lot of people will use them interchangeably. You see, being alone means quite literally and physically being by yourself. That can mean eating lunch by yourself, doing work by yourself, walking to the park by yourself, watching a movie by yourself, whatever you want it to be. Just because you are alone by yourself in a given space and time does not necessarily mean you will be feeling alone. Like right now, I'm by myself. I don't feel lonely at all. Yet, the feeling of loneliness is something entirely different. It can happen both when you are physically alone and even if you are with other people. But like Bojack Horseman once said, the one feeling worse than being alone is being lonely. And that is the difference between them. Even if you are surrounded by groups and groups of people, you can still feel left out. You can still feel misunderstood. You can feel like people don't understand where you're coming from. And that will cause the ultimate sinking feeling of loneliness. And the reason why the answer is to be alone is because most people, guys, are always running away from themselves. They're always running away by digging into mindless entertainment. They're always running away by hanging out with people who they know aren't good for them rather than spending time with themselves. They do this by running away because it's too scary to deal with those thoughts. It's too scary to actually address your problems. It's too scary to try to understand why your mind is always scrambling. But we need to understand that the irony of all this is that the reason you have more anxious thoughts, the reason your mind is scrambling, the reason why you don't want to spend time alone is because you are literally not giving your brain the chance to process these thoughts. These thoughts are only possible to be processed if you spend the time alone. And it's only if you spend that time alone, that's when you're able to process the baggage. Suddenly, your thoughts won't be scrambled anymore. Suddenly, it won't feel like you're running away from something big and terrifying because you finally gave yourself the time and space to deal with it, to process it, to reflect on it, and to move forward with it. But most people will not do this. Most people think instead of dealing with it, processing it, meditating on it, they will continuously run away, either with entertainment, the wrong group, or by countless distractions. And the reason I know this so well is because I was one of those people. I was one of those people who used to feel lonely, especially back in college. Yet, I had more friends than ever before. I was constantly hanging out with different groups of people. I was constantly on my feet going from one event to the other. But the reason I felt that way was because I wasn't hanging out with the right crowd. I didn't want to know who I was. I didn't want to process my anxiety, my deepest fears, or my worries about the future. And you know what happens when you do that, guys? When you take the shortcut path towards solving your problems? They will eventually implode on you anyways. And that's exactly what happened. 
But fast forward a few years later, I am much more confident. I was able to process some of my deepest, darkest fears, but you need to understand I was only able to do that because I finally learned that it was okay. It was great, in fact, to be alone. It was great to spend time by myself. It was great to understand why I had these thoughts, what to do with them, and to appreciate my own presence. And you want to know something else, guys? When you begin to do this, you will naturally feel more grateful for your presence. You will naturally want to spend less time giving away your precious time to just anyone because you have learned to be grateful for your own experience, your own presence, your own thoughts, your own gifts, your own passions. And you want to know what happens when you finally reach that state after being alone by understanding yourself and thinking about these thoughts? you will begin to be more selective with who you hang out with. Have you ever noticed that the people who are afraid the most about being lonely are usually the people who hang out with friends that they know they don't like or aren't good for them? The reason why is because they're in such a huge scarcity mindset. They would rather hang out with someone next to a pile of trash rather than being by themselves because for them, there is no other option. They can't be alone or it's the end of their world. Yet someone who understands themselves or is appreciative of themselves, understands what they want to do and who they want to be with, they will naturally enter the abundance mindset. They will naturally be more selective with who they choose to spend their time with based on their vision, based on their values, based on their vibes. And when you're more selective, when you finally do hang out with those people, it naturally feels A, more fulfilling, B, more satisfactory, three, you most likely won't feel any feelings of loneliness, and four, you will feel fulfilled. But until you learn how to cultivate the ability of being alone, it's not going to happen. And as someone who went through it, as someone who had to take all four years of my college years to really understand this, guys, I have one guaranteed promise. The more you run away from trying to be alone in your attempt not to be lonely, the more and more time you will lose to truly learn that the real solution towards your loneliness was never with other people, Rather, it was inside yourself the whole time. And that is a powerful lesson that I hope you can learn sooner rather than later. So if there's anything you took away from this video, understand this. It is a thousand times better to be alone than to be lonely. Because loneliness is a symptom of an inner problem. And being alone is not the problem. In fact, it is the solution. With that being said, do more, think less.